feel like it's been a while since I've come in here after you know win. It's good to be in here after that. How's it feel? What turned around the second half? Felt like first half a little bit of a slog, and then uh, you guys sort of found some more rhythm. That's yeah, um, you know we had a couple big runs in there that felt good. Obviously, um, you know. Just got to be more consistent doing some things. You know, I thought we did a good job um, handling a lot of their pressure packages for the most part. Obviously, it's, you know, on film, it's never as good as you think and never as bad as you think. So watch it tomorrow, see what we can think, what we can improve on. But, it, you know, felt good to get the win. Uh, you know, defense played great. Um, you know, and we did enough things good enough to win. David, individually, what have you come to learn about Pierre, Kevin, or the last few weeks, months that we can't not be yeah, I mean, the guys work hard, and, you know, I mean, you know, all these, you know, all the rookies work hard, and I know as a rookie, you never know <clears throat> when you had opportunity you're going to get, right? You know, I think um, probably at the beginning of the year, you know, they're sitting there seeing Damian, you know, James was still here, you know, all that, right? And it just, things happen. That's how this business goes. You never know when your number's going to get called, and you got to make sure you're ready to go. And they've done a great job of that. So, um, obviously, both had some really big plays today. Two touchdowns, uh, so you know they did a great job. Big picture wise, how much did you guys need this one? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you need everyone, and um, you know, football is so fleeting, and the seasons are fleeting, and um, you know, I mean, golly, it's got you know shortest season in professional sports, and you know, we've got you know what four opportunities now guaranteed left with this team, and um, you know, it's it's a fleeting thing, so you got to take advantage of all of them. Uh, you know, it feels good to come in here and get that win. And, uh, you know, obviously got a big one coming up here against the Las Vegas. Can a game like this provide a spark going forward? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think um, I've been on teams that have struggled toward the end and been on teams that crescendo toward the end. So, uh, you know, you want to make sure you're trying to do that. And that's what we'll try to do here. How important is this week held here for you guys with what you just said? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I... I you know, it stinks being away from your family and things like that. But there's, as a football player, I, you know, part of me kind of loves it. You know, you're just together all the time. And, um, you know, there's really no outside distractions, right? You know, it's just ball and hanging out and, and being with one another, which, you know, during a normal week, you know, guys got different things going on, families, you know, we got other, you know, responsibilities. So, uh, you know, it's a huge week out here. Uh, be good just to focus on Las Vegas and, uh, you know, go up there on Sunday. You guys are in the final playoff spot. What's your message down the stretch? One game at a time. It's a one-game season. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of change over these four weeks and for everybody, right? That's just how it goes. So you start looking at that stuff, start focusing on that, and you're going to let something slip away. So it's a one-game season. Um, that's how you have to look at it. Yeah, you, I, you looked up at one point and, you know, there's Jacoby, you know, Ramondre, you know, Damian. Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, just spoke on that a little earlier. You never know when that opportunity, you know, is going to hit. So they did a good job tonight, you know. Um, both had some really big plays, obviously. Both provided points. And then I think it was Pierre finished the game out for us. So that was huge. Could you, feel, could you feel the number of screen passes just as a player out there? Did it seem like a really high volume to you? Um, no, I mean, maybe when I look back at it, but like, you get so wrapped up in the game that you're not really counting plays or what's going, you know, try to forget, you know, what happens, you know, a drive, you got to move forward, you know, you can't sit there and dwell on things like that. So I'm not really sitting there counting plays and some may be screens, some may be different things because of pressure. So, uh, you know, it's not my job. I just try to go block people. Yeah. Huh? Just, you know, showed a lot of resilience. Um, I think we did a good job. Like I said, for the most part, look at it. Uh, I think they had blitzed us 11 times in the first half. I'm not sure about the second half. So, uh, you know, for the most part, thought we did a decent job responding to that. There's always going to be things we can clean up. So, um, you know, hopefully, and we were prepared for that. So, hopefully, you know, that's you prepare and then you go out there and execute, you know. So, you, know, you just got to keep going. Did a lot of good things. Obviously, things we can clean up. How confident are you in your group up front 
to be able to protect for the requisite amount of time for some of those longer developers? Yeah, I mean, look, you know, you talk about in football, right? Got to have it plays, right? Like big plays, right? As an on lineman, every play has got to have it. Like every play is important. You can't take a play off. You know, you, you got to block your ass off every play because if not, it's not going to be a good result. So, um, you know, we did some good things and we did some things we can clean up and do better. Some things in the run game I think we can do better. Um, but, you know, good enough to win tonight. We'll focus on that tomorrow. Thanks, Thanks guys.